Hey, this is Matt Boggs, and how do you know if the guy that you're seeing is coming on too strong or if he's just highly attracted to you? Today, I'm gonna to share with you three signs that your man is highly attracted to you so that you can open up and make real this new budding relationship that's coming into your life. Check it out. Now this concept actually comes out of a conversation that I had with a client this last week. A woman in her 70s who is in the Manifest Your Man coaching program that I do. And I was talking to her and she was saying, Matt, I have never had more attention and more offers from men to go out on dates than I'm having right now in my 70s. She goes, this is awesome. And she goes, I've never gone on as many dates and these are good dates with quality guys. And there's this one guy who's younger than me, she says, that is really putting on the interest in wanting to hang out and he wants to fly across country to come and meet with me and how do I know if he's coming on too strong and I should kind of slow him down or if I should just be receptive and go with the flow. So I wanna give you three signs that your man is highly attracted to you in a way that you can open up and receive his interest instead of putting on the brakes. So I've broken this down into the ABCs of knowing this man is highly into you. So let's start with A. A is he advances the relationship. Now, what does this mean? This means that a man who's super into you wants to move from texting to talking to getting together with you as quickly as possible. He wants to go from texting a couple times, sometimes he'll ask you for your phone number right away because he's feeling a connection with you. He's feeling a connection with you through your profile. He's feeling a connection with you through your pictures. He's feeling that attraction for you. And in his mind, he's thinking, wow, this could be it. She could be the one I've been looking for. This could be the end of all the dates that I've been on, which is a great thing because he wants a relationship. The man who wants to progress things quickly is tired of dating, just like you are. He wants to actually get into a relationship. He's excited he found you and he wants to progress things faster. Be weary of the guy who's dragging his feet and he's taking a long time to go from texting to talking on the phone or he's talking on the phone with you for a while and he doesn't ask you out. If he doesn't ask you out by the second time you talk on the phone, major red flag, move on, put your focus on somebody else because the guy who's highly attracted to you is gonna ask you out right away and want to hang out because he's interested in you. Now, I actually have something very cool for you that can help you in helping him advance the relationship forward from texting to talking to going on a date because the texting world, it's, a, it's new for a lot of us and how to ignite attraction and connection in him through texting isn't something that we're just born with. Having ideas and strategies for how to do that helps and so I've created a free guide on how to text him that will ignite his attraction and create deeper connection for you. It's a gift from me to you. I'm gonna link it up here in this video and in the description as well. Go ahead and click that link. You can download that for free. It will really help. Second, let's look at B. B stands for he wants to be close to you. And there's multiple dimensions in closeness that he wants to be close to you with. For example, he wants to be close to you physically. He wants to hang out with you on a date, get to know you, feel what the vibe is, feel what the connection is, and hopefully have that connection be just as strong in person as it is online so that you two can progress the relationship. But he also wants to be close to you mentally and emotionally and spiritually. Mentally, he, in the conversation, he's not just gonna talk all about himself. He's gonna be curious about you. He's gonna be curious about not only what you do for a living and how you spend your free time and who your friends are, but how you grew up and what your, what your parents were like and what really turns you on in life, what you're passionate about. And he's gonna be curious about what makes you happy, what are the things you haven't done that you would love to do because as he's asking those questions, in the back of his mind, he's logging ideas for how he can help you achieve those things the places you've never traveled to. And he's plan in the back of his mind, he's thinking like, ooh, I would love to go to that place with her. You might be the person who wants to see the Aurora Borealis in those crystal igloos up in Sweden. And that's something you've always wanted to do. And he's thinking to himself, wow, I would love to see the Aurora Borealis in a crystal igloo. How cool is that? And we could go together. Very cool. So he wants to be close to you in your mind. He wants to be close to you emotionally. What this means is that he will open up and share things about himself and he'll want to know your heart. 
He'll want to take care of your heart. How you feel matters to him. And he wants to be close to you spiritually as well. Your faith, your background, your values, your beliefs, all of that matters to him. Because his faith, his values, his beliefs matters to him as well. And he wants to make sure that that's a good fit. So you'll notice that he's exploring, if he's digging in the conversation, if he's asking a lot of questions, if sometimes it feels like he might be interviewing you a little bit, Don't be put off by that. That's actually a good sign because he's trying to discover you. He's trying to be close to you because he feels that attraction and connection for you and he wants to go as deeply as he can. And the third sign is C. C stands for consistency with his words and actions. That is super important. You know that's important. And sometimes when the man is really hot or really successful or has all the qualities that you want, It can be easy to let that part slide, give him a little bit too much grace in whether or not he's following up with you. But know this, the guy who's super attracted to you, the guy who's falling in love with you, your opinion of him matters deeply to him. How you see him, whether or not you respect him, how he's showing up, he wants to be the best version of himself for you. So that guy, when he says, I'm gonna call you at seven o'clock tonight, He's looking at the clock and at seven o'clock, he's picking up that phone and calling you because he made a promise. He's going to follow through on on that promise. The less important the relationship is to him, the more relaxed he will be with the agreements he makes and keeps. It's just the way it is, right? And so if it's not that important, then seven o'clock can come and go. There's no text. There's no communication. And he doesn't even apologize about it the next day. Major red flag kick that guy to the curb and really look for the men who value the relationship and who are willing to keep their actions and their words consistent. If he says he's going to pick you up at a certain time, does he show up on time? Or does he at least communicate if there's going to be a change? If he says he has a certain career, has a certain job or values a certain thing, do his actions actually reflect that? Because a man whose words and actions reflect each other is a man who's going to be a stable partner for you. And how a relationship begins, who someone shows you who they are in the beginning of the relationship is often how it ends up, right? If it's rocky in the beginning, you're fooling yourself to think, oh, once we fall in love with each other, then everything is going to shift and change. Once we get committed to one another, then he's really going to step up and start communicating differently. It doesn't work that way. You're going to get his best right out of the gate. And his best, you want a man who is consistent in what he says and what he actually does. So those are three signs. A, B, C. He advances the relationship. He wants to be close to you. And he is consistent in his works and his words and actions. You have a man like that. You have a man who is falling in love with you. You have a man who is, who is highly attracted to you. And know this, if you haven't met that man yet, he's coming into your life. If you want this relationship, it wants you back and the universe is seeking to bring it into your life. So don't be scared if a man is highly into you. Open yourself up, lean in, receive that relationship and you will create something magic in your life. Now, I have a question for you. What signs have you noticed that a man does when he's highly attracted to you? In a way that doesn't make you wanna push him away, but in a way that is healthy, where you can open yourself and receive that interest and attraction from him. Go ahead and put a comment in the comment section below. I love checking out your comments. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, take a moment, hit the red button and that little bell so you get the notifications because you will get new videos each and every week that will help you expand the love in your life. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you.